What's up YouTube? It's Ryan with the MXG channel again. And uh, yeah, it's my 11 DR650 Suzuki. And I finally got an oversized tank on this thing. This is the Acherbys 5.3 liter. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. I'm gonna tell you what the installation uh, procedure was like, what I like about it, and what I don't like about it. So this is, I have a couple of these DR650s, but this is my main ride. It's a 2011. It's got like now 9,000 miles on it. Absolutely love the thing. Uh, you can do tons of stuff with these on the highway and on the road, and they're way more capable than people think off-road. It's pretty nuts. If there was a zombie apocalypse, uh, this is the bike I would probably want. So for starters, there's the stock tank. Now what's the issue here? The issue is the stock tank is just too small. Um, you could only go about 100 to 120 miles uh, on a tank on this thing and I don't know it's like I just you're constantly thinking about gas with a hundred mile bike guys you're constantly thinking about you know okay I've already rode 30 or 40 miles I better not get lost you know you always have feel like you need to know where a gas station is um, it's really just a pain in the butt uh, a dual sport really needs to be able to go a couple couple hundred miles on a tank for you to really want to get out and explore and not have i better you know not have i better get gas in the back of my head all the time so 5.3 cherries uh i had this tank on back order with the cherries for like nine months i mean it was ridiculous uh finally came in and i uh, got her installed so if you know about the dr650s you know they have these horrible carbs it's a vacuum carb so the petcock on these stock tanks is a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, it's got, it doesn't even have an off. It's got an on, a prime, and a reserve. And that's because there is a vacuum line that connects behind that petcock, which pulls, basically pulls it out of there. Um, it's kind of a pain. If the bike sits too long, you have to just turn it on to prime and, and pull, the, pull the fuel line off and let it get a prime again. Um, best thing to do if you have the money is to put a regular pumper carb of some sort on this thing, like the TM40, four or $500. I may do that in the future. It's not in the budget at the moment. Um, so you get the Acherbys 5.3 liter and you get a regular petcock. So you have to cap off the vacuum line. Um, I didn't have a cap, so what I did and what some other guys have done is take the vacuum line, fold it over on itself, and zip tie it real tight until you get a cap. Um, now, it's a very easy install. You get the tank, you get the hardware for your seat clamp, you get the hardware for your petcock. You have to install the petcock with an O-ring. Be very careful because the screws on this petcock go right into plastic like a KTM tank or something. Do not tighten them that much. Um, what issues did I run into when I was installing this? Well, the first issue you run into are your lights hit the tank. Now, you're not turning the DR a full lock that much. But there's a bunch of videos out there of guys showing you how you can rearrange these clamps to make these these turn signals sit out a little bit further um, so they don't hit. I'm going to take these signals off completely and put some other signals I have on so I, didn't, I haven't done that. I'm not worried about that. Um, now, when you are getting your fuel line hooked up, it's gonna t it took me quite a while before I could get it to, to prime to this carburetor. So... Uh, you can see I still have an air bubble up there in the line. I need to get out, but I uh, had a lot of air trapped in here. You need to get the, you really need to get the fuel flowing out and then put it on the carb. And you may have to crank it for a while, um, put a battery charger on and, uh, and, uh, but until you can get a prime and then you'll be good after that. So the gray tank, I like the color of this gray tank. I like it better than the black one. I like it better. I think there's a white one as well. I love I love the look it gives the bike from the side. Makes it look a little bulkier, a little more adventurous. Um, it's cool. I like it. Uh, for the function, I dig it. It's got this carbon cap, and it comes with this purple dent hose. Uh, but where I don't like it, and I, I mean, this, um, this is a nitpicky video, guys. Uh, but when you sit on the bike... It just feels, and you guys may not feel this in the video, but compared to the stock tank, it feels like such a bigger motorcycle now. Um, I don't know. 
like I said, these bikes are way more capable of of doing things than people realize. And it gives you that feeling with that stock nimble tank. Um, you know, it, it makes you feel like it's capable with this big tank. I don't know. I'm afraid it's going to like mess with my mind, make me ride this thing a little more conservative. It's just makes the bike feel way bigger. It's obviously going to make it a little more top heavy if you have it, uh, if you have it completely full. Also, um, this part, this might've been my fault a little bit because of where I mounted the box here, the Apache box, but it, it's, my seat is now a pain in the butt to take on and off. Uh, there's just not enough room to really get down and slide it forward. That could be fixed if I move the box back a little bit, which, uh, you know, I have, I have room to maybe move it back a little bit. But the real issue here is it puts a heck of a bend in your seat. You see these wrinkles right here in the seat cover? Those weren't there with the stock tank because the way this seat, it makes your seat, instead of going flatter like this, it pushes it up a lot. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, with the stock tank, you feel more like you're on a dirt bike sitting on top of the seat. And with this tank, you kind of feel like you sit down in the seat like dirt bikes were like in the early 90s and stuff like that. So um, just something to be aware of. And I showed you kind of what the cockpit looked like uh, with this tank. And I'll show you what the cockpit looks like with the stock tank, which you probably already know. This seat's not even on this one, but and you can just see it's a big difference. Big difference. So what I'm thinking I might do, I've, you know, I've got these two DRs. Uh, I'm going to make one DR a little more of a long range uh, setup, and I'm going to make one DR a little more of a dirt bike setup. And so this one, you know, will be the long range. And uh, i got the big tank. I'll probably put some luggage options on here, get this thing set up to take weekend trips or whatever. And then the blue one in there, uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll keep these 50, 50, 60, 40 tires on this bike. The blue one in there, I'm going to put real, some kind of real knobby, like a 606 or something like that, knobby on the front, and make it a more lightweight, um, closer to home dual sport where I don't need to worry about gas. And, uh, and try to actually, I'm going to try to do a little single track and do the suspension up on it and really see what these drs are super capable of i've seen some guys on youtube and it's crazy if you get this these bikes set up correctly what they can do so i'm excited about it either way from the side the tank looks absolutely sweet don't you guys think i'd also like to mention um you got two options from a cherubis on the dr650 tanks you've got this 5.3 and you've got the 6.6 and the main difference on, on the 6.6 is that it, it extends out even further. It basically makes the DR have like side shrouds because it comes out, it might be a little narrower right here, I'm not sure, but it comes all the way out here. And you know, 5.3, 6.6 on the big ones. Um, I've heard that the 6.6 either come with two pet cocks or you can use two pet cocks because uh, a lot of times there's fuel down on the bottom that it just can't get over to the carburetor unless you utilize both petcocks so i don't know i have no experience with that one but uh um, this is my thoughts on the 5.3 all right guys that's my thoughts on the the cherubis 5.3 gallon fuel tank for the suzuki dr650s if you have any uh questions comments concerns or just experiences about you running this tank um let me know down in the comments below thanks so much i'll see you in the next video